Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Box Office Talk. This is the show where I break down what happened at the box office, see if my predictions for the top five are correct, and then make predictions for next week's top five. So let's get right on into it. Last week I predicted that number one would be Zootopia, then I said that number two would be London Has Fallen, and then number three would be Deadpool, then that number four would be Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, and then number five would be Gods of Egypt. And holy crap guys, it's one of those rare occasions where I actually have all five correct. Isn't that wonderful? Nah, it's really not a big accomplishment, really, but it is to me because I rarely get five out of five correct. So I'm I'm actually kind of kind of proud of myself at this moment. But anyways, number one was Zootopia, and it made seventy three million dollars this weekend, and that is very good for this film. I'm so glad that a lot of people are seeing it. Unfortunately, I don't know what the budget of this movie is, so I don't know how this movie is going. Like, domestically, I don't know how it's going, but as soon as they release the budget, I'll know. That's just, they haven't done it yet. So, uh, good job, Zootopia, and uh, I checked worldwide, and it's made, like, over $200 million already, and that is honestly super duper 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 impressive of it. I'm so glad that a lot of people are seeing this movie. I want more people to see it, because it is an incredible film. And now number two, a movie that probably isn't as incredible, London Has Fallen. This weekend it made $21 million. Now a lot of people may look at this and see its budget of $60 million and be like, uh-oh, this movie looks like it's in trouble. But really, three years ago, 2013, the first Olympus Has Fallen movie made $30 million, and that was around the same budget as London Has Fallen. And it actually got its budget back and made like, I guess, over $90 million domestically and over 100 worldwide, which is very good. And it also opened with another animated movie. Olympus opened with The Croods, and that's actually, it's pretty, that's pretty weird. Olympus Has Fallen opens with an animated movie, and so does London Has Fallen three years later. How convenient. But yeah, London Has Fallen, it's probably going to do well. I haven't seen it. I want to just because I'm a fan of the first movie, but I've heard some stuff about it that it's not that good, and... That's just kind of sad. But anyways, number three was Deadpool making $16 million, adding to a total of $311 million. Finally, this movie has gotten over $300 million. That is great. That is honestly really good. I'm so glad that Deadpool is such a big success. Maybe we can get more brilliant superhero films like Deadpool because the R rating didn't make Deadpool special. It was a part of that, but it was also just the brilliance of it. Just, uh, it's, uh Deadpool. But yeah, uh, Deadpool, really great stuff. Hopefully more people go out to see it if you haven't already. Anyways, number four was Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. This movie made $7 million this weekend, and that is on a budget of $35 million, So it looks like this movie is not doing all that well. But who can really blame people because Zootopia is out, and so is Deadpool, and London has fallen, even though that's not getting good reviews. I, I believe Whiskey Tango has actually better reviews than London has fallen, so I don't know... I don't know what's going on there, but uh, yeah, I, I actually did want to see this film. It looked like a decent movie, and from the other reviews, that's what I've been hearing, that it's a decent movie, so yeah, maybe I'll see it eventually. I don't know. Anyways, number five was Gods of Egypt. This movie made $5 million, adding to a total of $22 million. Now, normally, I'd be upset that it actually made over 20 million that's already way too much but i'm just glad i got all five of my predictions right so i'm not as angry i'm still angry at gods of egypt i still freaking hate that movie in case you didn't know i hate gods of egypt but uh i'm just glad i got my predictions right so i i don't really care for it at the moment i will probably later on but not right now Anyways, number six was Risen. It made $3,885,000, and that adds to a total of $28 million. So that's really good for it. Uh, I haven't seen it. Can't comment on it. Anyways, number seven was Kung Fu Panda 3, making $3,525,000, adding to a total of $133 million. Now, it's $12 million away from its budget. I honestly, I'm going to give up on my idea that it's going to get there. I think it'll get to like 140, maybe in between 140 and 135, but I don't think it's going to get to 145 million, which is kind of a shame, but I mean, it's not doing horribly worldwide. It's already gotten its budget back, so it's fine. It's just, I wish more people saw this movie because it's actually a really good sequel, a really good movie in general, and just, I was actually really surprised just how good a third Kung Fu Panda movie was, so that's pretty good. 
Anyways, number eight was The Revenant, of course. More people seeing it after Leo won Best Actor, probably. It made $3,325,000, adding to a total of $175 million. So that is also very good for this film. And, um, uh, words to say. I can't say any words. I've already talked about this movie a lot. I honestly don't know what else to say about it. Uh, it was a movie for sure. Um... Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> Anyways, number nine was Eddie the Eagle, making $3,100,000, adding to a total of $10 million, and unfortunately, it's $13 million away from its $23 million budget. Unfortunately, Eddie the Eagle, domestically at least, is a bomb. That's, that's kind of unfortunate, because I heard that it was a really good movie. I still want to see it, but just don't have the time at the moment. But, oh well, I mean... I've heard it's good. At least you have the benefit of having a 70% on Rotten Tomatoes, so that's good. Just uh, not that much money in your bank accounts. Whoopsie doodles. And finally, ending off the top 10, The Witch, making $2 million, adding to a total of $20 million. Now, let me just do the math real quick. This is like over five times its budget of $3.5 million, I believe. So that's very good for this film, even though a lot of the mainstream audience is like, oh, there wasn't enough jump scares. I still really want to see this. I still really want to see this movie because it looks like an incredible horror film. But maybe it's just a really good horror film. Who freaking knows? I still want to see it badly. And now for the fun part, predictions for next week's top five. Now, I'm going to predict that number one is still going to be Zootopia. I actually feel like it's going to still do very well. Then I'm going to say that number two is 10 Cloverfield Lane. Then I'm going to say that number three is The Brothers Grimsby. Then I'm going to say number four is London Has Fallen. And that number five will be Deadpool. But what are your predictions for next week's top five? Leave them in the comments below. And if you got your predictions right for this week, just like me, you're going to get a shout out right now. Unless you didn't get it right, then whoops. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time.